AEW's Tony Khan says he's less optimistic about WWE collaboration after how they've treated him. Plus, additional media notes regarding the John Moxley CM Punk build, Thunder Rosa comments, and more. Tony Khan spoke to the media today ahead of AEW All Out, and a lot came out of that media call. So here are some of the biggest takeaways from today. Take a look. During the media call on Thursday, Tony Khan was asked if the recent management changes in WWE could lead to the two companies working together, similar to how AEW has worked with New Japan Pro Wrestling, Impact, and AAA previously. Do you possibly envision maybe working with them with the changes over there, the way you work with Impact, New Japan, AAA, and others now? I was pretty optimistic when they first made the change, but I'm less optimistic now given how they've treated me. The AEW president did not elaborate on the treatment he has received from WWE that is leading him to feel this way. And without saying WWE by name, alluded to a major point of conversation being the WWE tempering claims and contracted AEW talent that emerged over the past few weeks. There were some issues uh, that talent had come to us about and said, I think you should probably know about this. And based on the talent coming to us and telling us that, and, and giving us their feedback and telling us stuff that had happened with them, to them, uh, both in the company and things happening outside the company, from other companies even. And what the, based on what the talent was saying to us, we thought it was good to have a meeting with everybody. It was reported last month that WWE did reach out to AEW talent in regards to working for WWE. Khan is said to have addressed this at a recent AEW meeting. He noted that AEW's chief legal officer sent an email to WWE CEO Stephanie McMahon and Nick Khan instructing them not to tamper with AEW talent. Tony Khan was also asked to address how he handled the announcements of both the men's and women's interim world titles. As a Twitter user shared recently in a side-by-side -side video, then world champion CM Punk got eight minutes to announce his health situation, while women's champion Thunder Rosa had considerably less time to announce her injury. Tony Khan disagreed with the notion that they were similar situations. Well, I strongly disagree with that. And I, I very strongly disagree with that. You know, I give the TV time based on uh, what I believe is going to draw the most ratings. And if you want my honest opinion on an eight minute Thunder Rosa promo versus the eight minute CM Punk promo, then you're going to get an honest answer. And I think the eight minute CM Punk promo is probably going to do a better rating. Now, as far as uh, match length, I think Thunder Rosa has had some great matches as champion. And uh, to come out and do a live eight minute promo, I'm not sure that would have been good for the television show, to be honest with you. And especially given where we were at, that Thunder Rosa, I found out she was injured a few hours before a live television show. I don't really have time to put an eight minute promo in uh, when I had just a couple hours notice versus CM Punk. I knew days earlier that he was pretty badly hurt. And, uh, and we had already made a plan two days earlier for that. Furthermore, a lot of people uh, criticized the way John got to his match with Tanahashi. So I guess you can't please everybody no matter what you do. And I've actually seen more people excited about the four-way match uh, with Sheeta versus Britt Baker versus Jamie Hayter versus Tony Storm than they were for the original match. And I think it, the four-way is one of the more anticipated matches on the card. When asked about the Rampage ratings, Khan said he had to put his biggest stars and angles on Dynamite due to all the injuries this year and wasn't able to offer big matches on Rampage that he used to. He's excited and wants to reset after this weekend due to the renewed roster strength. He is going to put his full attention on improving the show after this weekend. And in regards to CM Punk versus Jon Moxley and the lead up to their match at All Out, this is what Tony Khan had to say about that. Khan said that the ratings were great for the CM Punk Moxley world title match two weeks ago and that AEW has never done a pay-per-view build like this before. He thinks there is an increased interest in Sunday's rematch as a result, as there's been a lot of talk in the aftermath of the quick result. Let us know what you guys thought about this in the comment section below. On top of that, if you guys would like to chat pro wrestling with me, you're more than welcome to follow me on Twitter and or on Instagram at underscore Denise Salcedo. And I will see you on the next vid. Bye, everyone.